Hey friends, welcome back to Acre Homestead. My name is Becky and we are gonna do a grocery haul today. This is a huge grocery haul. This is kind of a stock up haul, fill in pantry haul, all the things haul. I've got some holiday cooking that I gotta do and so part of this haul is because of that. If you guys watched the video with my mom where we went grocery shopping for the holidays, we went to Costco and Winco and I hadn't been to Costco in a while and I hadn't been to Winco in a long time. So while I was there, I just bought a bunch of stuff to kind of fill in my pantry because I just filmed an entire pantry tour. So if you wanna watch a pantry tour, I can link that down in the description box. But because I had done an entire pantry tour, I could see where the holes in my pantry were. So because I went to Winco and Costco, places that I don't go to that often, I was able to pick up some of those items that I needed to fill my pantry in where I had some holes. Also, the Fred Meyer, I did a Fred Meyer pickup haul and that is for the holiday baking. And then I did just my once a month Azure pickup and I just got some fill-in things for that. So let's just go through and I'll show you what I got. At Costco, I spent a total of I think $140 and that's because there was one big ticket item in there. At Azure, I spent a total of I think about $200 and at Fred Meyers, I spent a total of around $120. And at Winco, I spent a total of $103. So this is a lot of stuff. And like I said, a lot of this is actually stock the pantry. It's not stuff that we're gonna go through in this next month or week or anything like that. And I did do the Fred Meyer pickup two days ago. And so we have eaten a couple of the salad mixes already. So you're not gonna see those pictured here because we've already eaten them. Just a note, I have not had a day to set aside to do that big freezer cooking day that I need to do. That is probably gonna have to wait until after Thanksgiving because all my time right now is being spent on Thanksgiving prep. Actually, as soon as I'm done with this haul, I have to put all this food away and then I have to make a bunch of make ahead appetizers for a friend's giving we're going to. And I'm gonna film that so you get to see that. And the reason I have to do make ahead is not just because I wanna do it for the video, but I literally have to do it because I don't have time to make these appetizers on the day of Friendsgiving that I'm supposed to have them for because the day we're celebrating Friendsgiving is the day that my mom and I are doing that huge Thanksgiving prep. So I am gonna have some appetizers ready to go and all I'm gonna have to do is either pull them out of the refrigerator or pop them in the oven. They'll already be made because they're gonna be some homemade and delicious appetizers. And I'll tell you what those appetizers are as we get through the groceries and I get to the ingredients for the appetizers. So let's start with the Winco haul right here. Now, one thing you're not gonna see with the Winco haul is a turkey. It's actually in my refrigerator thawing. I think I'm gonna pressure can that turkey because I have a lot of turkey cooked and in my freezer, and I have two fresh turkeys in my freezer right now that are still frozen. So I just decided to throw the turkey right in my refrigerator and I'm gonna attempt pressure canning meat for the first time. So we'll see how it goes. All right, so like I said, Winco, I don't go to it all the time because I don't have time to go into grocery stores to go shopping. And they have a huge Asian department. And so I kind of stocked up on some of those Asian items that I don't like to stock up on at Fred Meyer because it's more expensive to shop at Fred Meyer. So first thing, I just got a pineapple because I was thinking to make some pineapple salsa because that sounded good to me. Also, I got these cute little dishes. These are actually for the appetizers that I'm gonna be making. I needed some dishes to serve the appetizers in. And so those are microwave and oven safe, which is perfect because I am going to need to put these in the oven. I did pick up some mayo because I have some of the recipes I need it for. We we're gonna be doing a spinach artichoke dip and a caramelized onion dip. And I got this because it was olive oil mayo, but if you look at the ingredients, the second ingredient is, or the third, I should say, ingredient is canola oil and soybean oil. And we are not huge fans of canola oil around here. So this will get eaten, it's not gonna to go to waste, but I am kind of bummed that this packaging is a little deceiving. So. That was kind of a bummer there, but it will get used just, I do make my own homemade mayo, but sometimes when I make using mayo for like a recipe, like a dip or something, I usually do do store-bought. I got two jalapenos because I'm gonna be making some cranberry salsa. This is some of my stock up items on things. I just got some of this Chipotle Tabasco. If you guys have never had this, it is so good. And you know I make my own homemade sriracha, but I don't think I'm gonna have enough to get through the year. So since I was there, I did pick up two srirachas and this was kind of a impulse buy this looked really good and i thought well actually we'll get to it but i'm going to be doing egg rolls in a bowl and so i thought that this would be good to top it and i think i'm actually going to make that for dinner tonight so i normally don't buy this but i did buy it this time i don't have any coconut aminos in the house right now and i love coconut aminos i just think the flavor is really good because it's kind of sweet so i picked up two of these while i was at winco and then just a sesame oil 
and this is 100% sesame oil. You do have to be careful sometimes when you buy sesame oil, if you don't check the ingredients, they will actually use filler oils like vegetable oils and canola oils and things like that. So this is 100% sesame oil. I want to make a pumpkin cheesecake this year. And so I like to make the crust with these ginger snap cookies. I usually get the ginger snap cookies that are in the box, but these were the only ones they had. So I picked those up. And I don't know when I'm gonna make that, but I just wanted to have that on hand. So when I wanna make it, it's available. Also, when I did my pantry tour video, I realized I only had one thing of rice noodles and we like to make homemade pad thai around here. So I picked up two of those and crackers for some of the dips that we're gonna be making to bring to friends and some cider, hard cider, I should say. So this pear cider is so, so good. And I thought that this guava one sounded good. And I see this Portland cider. So I live in Vancouver, Washington, just north of Portland, Oregon. And I grew up in Portland and I see this all the time. And I thought I would just buy one to taste it before buying a whole box. So I wanna say a note for the people that are overseas. In the US, we call hard cider, cider that has alcohol in it. And then we call just unfiltered apple juice, which I'll get to, I have it somewhere in here. Or if you see in my pantry tour video, I refer to the juice that I made as cider and that's because it's unfiltered. That is non-alcoholic. So in the US, if we call it hard cider, it has alcohol. And if it's just cider, it's basically just juice. So I didn't realize that overseas, cider is what we would consider hard cider in the US. So just a little bit of clarification on that, for my friends overseas. The last thing I picked up at Linco are some egg noodles. I do make a lot of my own pasta, but there is something about just traditional egg noodles, the you know ones you get in the package that are really good with some dishes. So I picked up three of those and that will last us a good long time. So let's go over to the Fred Meyer haul and I'll show you what I got at Fred Meyer's. I got some random things that I don't normally buy. This is one of the random things that I don't normally buy. I have no idea why I decided to buy these, but they or search for them because this was a pickup so I ordered it on my phone. But I just, I love sweet potatoes and I never buy french fries and I thought this sounded good. So of course, you know, I had to buy four packages. So I hope we like them. I got some frozen spinach because we're gonna be doing a spinach artichoke dip. I got some toothpicks because we are gonna be doing some bacon wrapped dates. If you guys have never had this as an appetizer, it is one of the easiest appetizers you can do. And it is so good. And it is actually Whole30. So when I was doing Whole30 years ago, this was actually a really good appetizer that I would, you know, kind of go to if you needed to bring something to a party. So I'm on a hard cider kick for some reason. And I bought some blackberry hard cider as well. For a couple appetizers we are going to be doing, I don't know if it's going to be for this party, the Friendsgiving, or for another party we're going to be going to later. But I got some puff pastry because I was going to do a mushroom, gruyere cheese, caramelized onion, puff pastry thing and so that's why I got that I got some peanut butter um, my dog is having seizures and so he is having to take a lot of medication right now and we are going through a lot of peanut butter with him because it's the only way I can get him to eat his medication so I had to designate an entire thing just for him so that I didn't have to worry about cross-contamination and it's a whole thing so I picked up two of these for us one to open for us and then one for the pantry this is a better alternative mayonnaise. And I like the ingredients on this a lot better than the one I bought at Winco, but this was expensive. This was, I think like 650, which is ridiculously expensive for this small of a jar of mayonnaise. But sometimes I don't wanna always make mayonnaise. So I bought this and, so I bought this. I hope we like it, we'll see. Some onions, because we're gonna be doing that caramelized onion dip that we needed onions for. And then I only have red onions in my pantry that are fresh. I have a ton of onions in my freezer that are white onions, but I wanted to get a couple extra white onions for the pantry. So probably half of these will be actually in the dip and then the rest will go just in the pantry. Artichokes for the artichoke dip that we're gonna be making. I got two of those. We only need one for the dip, but in case I wanna make maybe one for Christmas, I'll have an extra one. All right, so this here, this is what we consider cider, just plain unfiltered apple juice. I may have opened this already and drank some of it. I, I did buy this two days ago, so I didn't drink all that this morning, but I absolutely love this. I did make my own, but I do love this, and I usually buy myself one of these in the fall, and that's it. I don't like to drink a ton of juice, but I do really like cider. Cranberries, because I'm actually gonna be canning a little bit more cranberry sauce, and we're gonna be doing a cranberry salsa. So that's why I got actually two of these, you can see. 
some sour cream for some of the dips that we're going to be making just two things of half and half milk there is one of these that is in the refrigerator right now that my husband is using right now these three are actually going to go in the freezer they were on sale and so i picked up a couple extra to go in the freezer milk freezes beautifully you don't have to empty anything just throw that whole thing in the freezer heavy cream for making homemade whipped cream and homemade sour cream and just some of the dishes that we're going to be making. I did pick up a sour cream, even though I do make my own. And I picked this up because for some of the dips, I figured I'm just going to use this instead of using homemade sour cream because it's going to be cooked. The reason I like to make my own sour cream is because it's a probiotic because I ferment it overnight or sometimes 24 hours. And so it actually has some probiotics in it. And if I'm going to be heating up a dip with sour cream, might as well just buy a thing of sour cream because heating it up will kill all the probiotics that I make when I actually go to make my sour cream. So store-bought it is. Five things of cilantro, three things of parsley. We go through a ton of fresh herbs. Uh, herbs can be really expensive, but cilantro is actually one of the cheaper ones and it's one of the ones that is harder for me to grow. So that's why I buy it. Usually these are like 55 cents each as opposed to buying like sage can be like $2.99 for a little packet. And sage is really easy to grow. So I grow the expensive herbs and then I buy the cheap herbs. I do grow this outside, but it just doesn't grow very well. I usually only get a couple servings of it. Parsley is really easy to grow. I have a ton of parsley out there. Actually, I'm not sure why I bought this because I have so much parsley in the garden. I got a thing of green onions. This is for the salsa, the cranberry salsa. I just got, which I got two cauliflowers and these actually aren't looking super great. So I might cook these tonight for dinner because normally cauliflower I can keep in my fridge for like three weeks or so, two to three weeks and these aren't looking prime. So those probably are gonna be cooked for dinner tonight. Along with, we're gonna do egg rolls in a bowl. And I have never bought this, but I've seen it on other people's grocery hauls, and this just is so easy. So I splurged and I bought four of these because two of these will be for one meal, and then two of them, I'll probably make like a cilantro lime, I don't know, something for the other one, make some sort of salad and have it over like tacos or something like that. I don't know, we'll see when we get there. I got four heads of broccoli, that's just to eat broccoli. And that concludes the Fred Meyer pickup haul. And so kind of fun, there's definitely some interesting things in there I don't normally buy. And we're gonna go on to the Costco haul now. And there's some fun things in this haul as well. And just some, you'll see. <laughs> I really like this organic pasta from Costco. It did go up about a dollar in price for this whole package of six but it still was only I think $9 for all this. And if you watch my pantry tour, you'll know that I only had one left. And so I just went ahead and picked this up since I was with my mom at Costco. This was another thing. I've never actually bought these before because I usually, like I said, make my own homemade pasta, but I figured I would give this a try. It looked really good. The ingredients are great. And so that was just a new thing that I figured I would try. I needed some potato chips. I picked these up. This is for the party that we're gonna be going to. People can use this for the cranberry salsa or for the French onion dip. I was thinking actually the French onion dip, not French onion dip, caramelized onion dip, this would be good for. Now these, oh my goodness, my Costco does not carry these because we we're at my mom's Costco. She lives in a different town than I do, about 30 minutes from me. And they have the Mama Lily's hot peppers and these are so good. A lot of pizza restaurants around here actually have these on the menu and they put these on pizza. I've never bought them before but my mouth is watering just thinking about them. Literally, they are a little bit spicy, they're vinegary, they're tangy, they're packed in oil, and oh my goodness, let's see what the ingredients are. Oh, well they are packed in all, um, canola oil and olive oil, but oh well, they're so good. So I picked up two because my Costco does not carry them, so I figured I'll open one, it'll be in my fridge, and then I'll have one in the pantry. I don't know if my mom's Costco carries them normally, but these are really expensive to buy at the grocery store because usually they come in this like little tiny jar and they're like $4 for this little jar. And I think this big jar was like six bucks. So really excited to have those. I'll put them in pastas, pizzas, quiche, almost anything. They're so good. All right, next, now this next thing I'm excited about. Now this is not a grocery item. This was I think $80. And if you're new around here, we do not have central heat. This house was built in the 80s and we heat our house with a wood stove and our bed gets really cold at night. For the last two years, we've talked about getting a heated blanket, but they're kind of expensive. $80 for a blanket seems like a lot to me. So I just haven't wanted to spend the money. 
And I told my husband, I was like, you know what, this year I'm buying a heated blanket. I told him that like maybe a month ago or so when we had just started putting the heat, the wood stove on, because we do heat our house with a wood stove if you're new around here. We don't have central air because this house was built in the 80s and electricity used to be really, really cheap in the Pacific Northwest in the 80s. And now it's not cheap. And our house is heated by cadet wall heaters and they are astronomically expensive now to heat because they're electric. So we heat our house with wood stove and our wood stove is far the farthest away from our bedroom. And so our bed actually gets really cold. So I told my husband I was gonna buy a heated blanket and he's like, we don't need a heated blanket. It's always hot because I go to bed about two hours before he does typically. And so the bed's usually warm, but for some random reason, he went to bed earlier than me a couple nights ago and was like, the bed is freezing. And I was like, yeah. And so when I was at Costco with my mom, I bought a heated blanket. And this one is cool. It's unlike the ones I was looking at at Target. It has dual zones. So, you know, one person could have it hotter, one person could have it cooler. So I thought that that was kind of cool. $80 for a king size heated blanket is actually a pretty reasonable price because I had been looking at them for two years. And I went with king even though we have a queen bed is because we are considering buying a new bed. We, our bed that we have is old and we've never bought a new one because we just haven't wanted to spend the money. But now we're thinking maybe we will. And in the event we do buy a new bed, it will be a king. And I figured for a heated blanket, I can put this underneath and if it's a little too big, that's fine. So, and they only had a king, by the way. They didn't even have queens. So I didn't even have the option, but I think that that's a good thing because if we do end up buying a new bed, it will be a king and this will fit on it. All right, I just bought two things. I really like this Waterloo carbonated water. The grape is really good. I've never tried the cranberry, but I'm sure it's really good. I know what lemon and lime taste like. They were $2 off each, so that's why I bought two of them. I drink a lot of carbonated water. I was trying not to drink as much of the canned stuff and use my soda stream, but I just really like having these in the refrigerator and they're cold and they do have a little flavor to them. So because they were on sale, I bought two. So that was that. That's my Costco haul, kind of random, but just a couple fill-in items, plus that heated blanket that I'm really excited about. This section here is my Azure haul. If you guys are interested in Azure, it's a great place to buy bulk organic goods. It's where almost all my bulk goods come from. And I can leave the link for them down below if you're interested. I'll leave a link that will give a description of kind of how it works because it's a bulk buying club and you buy it once a month. So this here is now my Azure all that we're going to get to. Azure is a bulk buying kind of organic club. It's the best place to buy organic bulk goods. It's where I buy all my organic bulk goods, almost probably 85 to 90 percent of them from. If you're interested in checking Azure out, I will leave a link down in the description box and you can see how their company works because you only buy once a month and you go pick it up. So let's get into the Azure haul. So I picked up two cabbages because I can keep cabbage in my refrigerator for a long time and I'm kind of on a cabbage kick if you haven't noticed with the haul. So I picked up a red one and a green one in their whole form. They'll last a really long time and so that is why I picked up two of those. This is for my sister actually, this basil and this time are for my sister so she'll get those with her work schedule she can't do the pickup so I just do it for her and then she picks these up from me and then I picked up a thyme for myself I do grow thyme but I hate picking the leaves off and so I think this was like eight dollars or something I don't remember exactly how much this was for not having to pick the thyme leaves off I thought it was worth it I am on a huge tea kick right now huge 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 and I grew a bunch of my own tea and so I need these little tea mesh strainer things and I only have two of them and I need more than that so I picked up four of those so that I will have six total so if one's dirty or something like that I can just have a ton of them and I will always be able to have tea when I want to have tea I did pick up some of this ginger aid just to have because I don't have any ginger tea and I thought that sounded really good so I bought that one of the best things I like to buy at Azure is actually cheese. Um, this is a five pound block of organic cheese. I have a of cheddar cheese. I have a hard time finding organic cheese in my area. And so I can buy it from Azure. This is about $7 a pound. They do have another one that's a little bit cheaper, but they were out. So I went with this brand this time and $7 a pound for organic cheese is a great, 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 great price. So I did get two boxes of organic tampons. Now there's 12 boxes of 16 in each one of these and they end up being about 20 cents each, which is way cheaper than I can get at my grocery store. I think usually I pay about 33 cents each when I buy them at my grocery store. But the thing is the ones at the grocery store have plastic applicators and I, I don't know if this is TMI, but I like the cardboard ones just because it uses a lot less plastic. It's a lot of waste. So that's why I like to buy these at Azure when they have them. 
but I do think that I on accident bought the ones without the applicators just from the size difference. Um, a lot of you ask if I've tried a Diva Cup. I haven't because that scares me. Again, sorry if this is TMI, but I have not tried one of those. I may in the future, but for now, this is what I use and I will stick to it until I find the need not to anymore. <laughs> all right, let's move on. And then I got a case of cream of mushroom and cream of chicken. I normally make all my cream of chicken and cream of mushroom soup, but I found this and I'm super glad I did because you know, sometimes you just don't wanna to have to make it. And I'm really happy with the ingredients on here. They're really clean. Water, mushrooms, cream, cornstarch, rice flour, sea salt, garlic powder, onion powder, and the cream of chicken is just as clean as the cream of mushroom. This is not gonna be what I use all the time. I still will make my own cream of mushroom, cream of chicken, but I just really am excited to have a super convenient pantry staple that I can just have and grab in case I need to make a quick meal super fast. So that's why I bought both of these. I also got frozen peas and broccoli. These were on sale and I got six of the peas and six of the broccoli. These are staples that I always like to have on hand. If I'm gonna cook broccoli and make it into like a casserole or something like that, I prefer to use the frozen because it's just a lot more convenient. I don't always use frozen, but it's already pre-blanched and if it's gonna go in a casserole or something that's already gonna be cooked in the oven, I would rather not use fresh. I'd rather save fresh for something else. And then peas, I just, we love peas. It's I didn't even know this until recently, but this is my husband's favorite vegetable. We eat it a lot, I knew he liked it, but I didn't know it was his favorite. So we always, always, always have frozen peas on hand. And the last thing I got, at Azure is this 100% organic whole wheat pasta. And I'm excited to have this on my pantry shelf because I only have because I only have two things of spaghetti left in my pantry. I normally buy my spaghetti from Costco. They have an organic spaghetti that I actually really like, but it is white flour. And I am excited to have a whole wheat option. We like whole wheat pasta. And so Costco doesn't sell whole wheat pasta. The good by the best by date on these is September. 13th, 2023. So if we use one a month, that will last one year. So a bunch of this is actually stock up items that is gonna last us way, way, way longer than a month. This was not a once a month grocery shopping basically to eat through all this food. A lot of this is actually like actual stock up pantry items. The condiments, like the Asian condiments, the sauces. What else? The frozen veggies, because we got a ton of frozen veggies, the pasta and things like that. And then there were just some fun items in here because we are gonna be making some yummy fun dishes. This was a lot bigger than I was expecting because I really was only expecting to have a Fred Meyer and Azure haul. But then when I went grocery shopping with my mom, I got a bunch of stuff at Winco and I got a bunch of stuff at Costco. I have filmed every single one of my grocery hauls in 2021. So if you're interested in that, I can leave a link down to a playlist with all my grocery hauls. I've committed to filming every single one so you guys can see what a homesteader gardener grocery hauls look like. And you can have an idea that, you know, even if you have a massive garden like I do, or if you have a milk cow, you still have to go to the grocery store. There's things that you just can't, you can't do everything on your own, you know, like who's growing and making their own peanut butter. Not very many people. So thank you guys for hanging out with me as we did this entire grocery haul. This was a big grocery haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I love watching grocery hauls, so I hope you enjoyed watching my grocery haul. If you wanna watch a tour of my pantry, I did a tour recently and I just posted of these cupboards here and then right back there, there is a walk-in food room that is filled with food. So if you wanna see what my pantry looks like, I will post a video right here. You can go check that out. I hope you guys are having a great day. And if you're new here, please consider subscribing or giving this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I can't wait to see you guys next time. Bye guys.